Coming again, man, to do a quick vid on just taking heed to the son of man and um no further ado. I dive right into it. This I mean uh vlog it is um we'll give all um Kahala, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem of Crackle Dash, that by honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to the actors that's pushing this work around the globe in truth and sincerity. And I just want to Jump in a quick vid, man. It was just, just in Hebrews and just, uh, you know, just going over, you know, kind of like the Son of Man and, and um, that which the Most High have put him in position to be to him, you know. And uh, no further ado, man. I'll dive right into it. This Hebrews 2 and 1. It says... Therefore, we ought to give the most earnest heed to the things which we have heard. At least at any time, we should let them slip, okay? But what are we giving earnest heed to, man? Okay? Man, fella, look at that word earnest. I pull it up in a strong. This is uh, Earn is he Strong's G 4056 Perisateros 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 uh, It says more abundantly More in a greater degree More earnestly More exceedingly Especially above others Okay so take earnest heed Of knowing that of the doctrine which we have learned, man, you know, and taking heed to the things which we have heard, and the things which we have heard is according to scripture, man, and these ancient strolls and scriptures that we uh we recite out of as men of the Lord, you know, having not, having full faith and diligence in it, you know, we we ought to take heed to it, meaning also, you know, as we preach the gospel, live the gospel, you know. So that's taking heed to it and also covering it, covering it, you know, that we um that we don't lose it, man. Like the scriptures say, uh at least at any time we should let them slip. You know, like the scriptures say in Proverbs, buy the truth and sell it not. You know, so meaning don't let it fall away from you, man. Because this is a covering cast for the righteous men of the Lord. Which is the 144,000 elect, man. Because at any time, you know, you can slip. You can slip from this thing, man. Okay? And a slip, a, a slip, and a, a slip, a let them slip, to let this slip, mean is the like to go back into your vomit as a dog going back into his vomit. You know, it means to, uh, it means to go backwards, man. It means it basically to, you know, if we don't uh nail if we don't nail this uh this word on the tablets of our heart man then at, e at any time the reaper could come and take it away man or cause something to transpire to where you get caught up in it man and forget this word man and it hey it's it's possible man because look at scoffers you know they have let this thing slip but let me get some precepts to back that up uh i i do uh uh, Job, I'm going Job first. This Job, I'm going to 22 and 22. It says, Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth and lay up his words in thine heart. Yeah, man. So, you know, this thing that we, this, this, this doctrine that we ought to take heed to. Which is the the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. According to Psalm 40 and 70, he said, Lord, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Okay, that which we taking heed of. He said that you lay up his words in thine heart, man. Okay? The law from his mouth. See, this this is the book of the law and the commandments, man. 
So this is what you laying up and taking heed to, man. You know, and doing that therein. Okay. Yeah, get that word heed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's Job. I'm a, I'm gonna stand Job and go to Job thirty six and twenty one. It says, take heed, regard not iniquity, for this has thou chosen rather than affliction. Because when you let it slip, then you're going to be afflicted by the Most High, man. Because this, the only thing that, that basically, this this basically your holy water. Not like not like in the church world arguments, but you know, this is your holy water. And we know that water to be, be what? The word, man. You know? This this is your separate word, man. That's why it says take heed, man. Least it slip. And when it slip, things gonna get on on, on this world gonna, gonna get on your ass, man. And it's gonna stay on your ass, man. It's gonna nail you to it. That's why the men of the Lord always bound themselves around the scriptures or doing something that, that consists of godliness, man, because it's easy for for this light to get changed to darkness, man. And like it said in the scripture, what had light with darkness, man? What communion had light with darkness, man? Okay? So you can't rock like that. Period, man. You got to stay on um, solid grounded. You know, with a solid foundation. I'm going to stay in that. Uh, this, this, uh, let me get one of that. This Luke 11. Because we got to take uh, heed to this thing, man. You know? 11 and 35. It says, take heed therefore that that the light which is in thee be not darkness, man. Okay? Because if you slip from this thing, you're going into darkness, man. And I just was saying that, you know? I get another one, man. We, hey, we going to tell this priest up out right here, I can, well, I mean, because it, hey, it's heavy in itself, you know? This First Corinthians. Ten. And 12, it says, Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed, take heed, least he fall. Yeah. And and if you in this thing, you know, and you and you know this thing to be your own, to be your bodyguard, man, it's true, gotta be a bodyguard to you, man. You know what I'm saying? It gotta be a bodyguard to you, and, and it gotta protect you, man. You gotta surround yourself. This gotta be your hedge, as the scriptures say, okay? Wherefore, let him that think that he stand to take heed, least he fall, man. So, another way of letting this thing slip. I'll get one more, and then I'll move on. This Colossians 1. And 28. It says, Whom we preach, warning every man, and teaching every man, in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in the Mashiach Yahweh See, whom we preach and warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom, all right? So, this is where you take heed to it, man, and don't slip. Because if you if you are being warned, man, that means that you need to um, uh, make sure that, um, you know, you stay in a direct path of, uh, or on the right track, or if you get sidetracked or pushed off, man, that, you know, you may slip and you may not get back up, man. So that's the whole, you know, whole front of that. But I'm going to go on to two. There's Hebrews 2 and 2. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward. Yeah, a penalty. See, if you slip, then a penalty is coming through, man. And you got to beware of that. And let me get that. Let me get a precept to back that up. This Acts 7 and 53. Yeah. It says, Who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it? You see, so 
you know, if if the disposition of the angels basically give um, you know, these for if this word was spoken by angels was steadfast, and ever transgressed in disobedience, receive a just re ju receive the just recompense of reward. So who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it? You dig? So it's is 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 definitely a penalty, man. And in Numbers 15 and 30, it, it says that you know you'll be penalized and cut off from debt for this thing, man. So if you slip, then debt is knocking at your door. So be aware of that, man. Okay. I'm gonna go to three. Hebrews 2 and 3. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? <laughs> you see that? You see that? How shall we escape if we neglect so so great salvation, man? Okay. Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us them that heard it. All right. So we're going to deal with that. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? How are we going to get out of it if we don't keep, you know, the words of the own um, of, of, of the own um, these holy words of this of these of of this of these ancient strolls, man. How shall we escape the penalty, all right? Which is the penalty. We know the penalty is to be dead, man, if you go away from this. Whoever not abiding in this, love debt, man. Whoever despise you, I will buy shimmy, I will shout, he love debt, all right? So let's grab that. This uh, 1 Corinthians. I'm going to go to 13 It says There had no temptation taken you But but as, at as but such as is common to man But Yahweh is faithful Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able But will with the temptation also make a way to escape That ye may be able to bear Okay so But that ye who is talking about That these men will be able to Uh uh, escape this thing, man. How shall we escape? You know, the Most High got a way to escape for the um the righteous and um ancient men, man. You know, those men of renown who the Father have called for His purpose, man. All right, from the beginning. All right, and uh, it says, if we neglect so great salvation, how shall you escape? Boy, all right, those who are disobedient. And and um and transgressors, they not gonna escape. Okay, they not gonna escape. They gonna be caught up, man. Not with the angels or in the air, man. But they gonna be caught up in this world, which the Father plan to destroy by thermonuclear on um, fire, man. And it says, which at the first begin to be spoken by the Mashiach Yahusha, and was confirmed unto us. By them that heard him, okay, which was his disciples, man, who pushed his word. Like the scripture said, ye love me, feed my sheep, man. I'll get another precept for that one real quick. This on um, Hebrews 10. And uh twenty-eight. It says, he that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. You see that? So, they died without mercy. They, they, can't, they couldn't escape it, you know. But now, we can escape it. Those being those elect men are going to be the only ones escaping, man, through, the, um, through um, that love where, the, where um, Yahweh shall die for the remission of sins, man, to where he will be able to bat and escape. That man, which sin or whatever that may be, man. But those other for you know, like it says, he that despised Moses Lord died without mercy under two or three witnesses, man. But that mercy is in place. But moving on, okay, and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him, okay. So it says, uh, this four, Hebrews 2 and 4, God also bearing them witness both with signs and wonders. And with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost, according to his own will. All right? According to his own will. And that and that be day. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to read it again. God also bearing them witnesses both with signs and wonders and with diverse miracles and gifts of, whole, of the Holy Ghost according to his own will. And let's see who is that of his own will, man. Let's see who 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 exactly he's talking about here. This uh, I go to Ephesians one and one. Uh, Salaki, that's one and eleven. Yeah, this one and eleven. It says. It says, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance. Being predestined according to the purpose of him who work at all things after the counsel of his own will. See, according to his own will. All right. And I'm going to grab one more and then I'll close it out. The arguments. I kind of got caught up in that first precept, pulling too many precepts. I don't want to make it too long. This uh, Acts 2 and 22. It says, ye men of Israel. You see that? God also bearing them witness both with signs and wonders and with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost. So this is speaking of his elect man, who he's dealing with with this, showing miracles to man. Okay. It says, ye men of Israel, hear these words. Yahweh shall of Nazareth, a man approved of Yahweh among you by miracles and wonders and signs, as it just said, which God did by him in the midst of you. As ye yourself also know. You see? And then the done by him in the midst of him was his disciples and the followers of Yahweh man. Okay. But and with that, man, you know, I close it out. Uh I kind of got caught up, man. But um until next time, I I hope that was edifying. Uh I just want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the um, apostles and elders a great millstone and salutations to the items that's pushing the work and truth and sincerity until the next time I want to say Shalom